A lot of customers, in their imagination, always think that a driven tool lathe will do more than it actually will. But buy a watching and you can enjoy your dreams. We stood in front of an absolute beast of machine. It's about two meters in the between centers, but that's not the most important bit right now. It's a Huachon machine. Now, Richard, for those viewers who've never heard of Huachon before, who are they? Huachon are a South Korean machine tool company. Um, they're the pr biggest privately owned company, and they're in the top six in the Korean market. They have two main prime sites for manufacturing, Guangzhou for the smaller machines, a factory in Changwon because they do a huge range of machines, very long bed, flat bed machines, as well as lays, as well as uh, a full range of slant beds. So really we can offer a, a massive range of machines for, to meet any customer's needs. And this being a two meter isn't the biggest machine they do, obviously, no, but no. it's still a bloody big machine. Yeah. What would someone be making with a machine of this size? Well, this particular machine is a little bit like car names. This is the LX, which is a long bed version. And this machine can come in three bed lengths. So here in Sheffield at the moment, we've got three different bed length machines in stock. Also, some machines are driven tool with Y axis, without Y axis. So we can have around 40 variations on this one particular model. So we can have either a 10 inch shuck, a 12 inch shuck, or the machine we're looking at here, a 15 inch shuck. All the tail stocks are fully programmable, programmable quill. We've got a 12 station turret, BMT 65, and you can have up to 12 driven tools on one station, on one turret. So um, really flexible manufacturing. Uh, this particular demonstration we've got on here shows in Samvik prime turning, uh, which you'll see in the video, also trochoidal milling. And to be able to exploit some of these um, milling features, we've changed the driven tool slightly and we've gone from the no gone away from the normal ER32 collet chuck type to being the type which has a detachable, uh, almost like BMT style, where you can change the cutting head from, say, a face mill arbor to a side lock and back to a collet chuck and that really offers us to perform really powerful milling operations like you'll see in the video. Absolutely, and you can see the milling operation here on the end is kind of a tr trochoidal turning. And this is an E&H steel, it's not al aluminium, yes. it's a big, yeah. it's, a, it's, a, it's a harder material to cut than kind of your standard big fat alley, alley parts. But why do you think you need that versatility on the driven tooling and the static tooling well, side? Really, a lot of customers in their imagination always think that a driven tool lathe will do more than it actually will. But buy a watching and you can enjoy your dreams. <laughs> okay, fair enough, I love it. So if, you, if you're watching this and you're dreaming about what you could do with this lathe, you can probably do it, which is, which is a, a, um, a great endorsement, Richard. And you also see there's big fat spades here, spade, spade yeah, drills, yeah. Um, and they're allowing, allowing you to do kind of real big long parts that otherwise yeah. you wouldn't be able to yeah. touch if you had a smaller machine. Basically, why we put that drilling is because if you look at the right hand side of the headstock, you've got a large cutout. So if you do need long tools, you can leave them in the turret. If you want to close, turn close up to the chuck, you don't have to be taken out of the machine. And that's one of the philosophies of a number of the machines in the watching range. They all have this cutout on the side of the headstock. So you don't go to the machine like you did a few years ago and see big bumps and lumps where the customer would run into the Headstock guard. Absolutely. If you're buying a machine like this, you don't want to start trying to smash no. up. It's there to make good parts. Yeah. And let's talk a little bit, a little bit more about the prime turning. Now, you can see the face here is an absolutely beautiful yeah. finish. And, and this is just like a semi-finished pass. Right. And those are all roughing passes. So we can get high feed rates, 0 0.6, 0 0.7, 0 0.8 millimeter rev per rev. Um, you can see that we're doing all our machining in the center of the shaft. We've got no steady for support. So we really can exploit a lot of powerful heavy cutting and if we use prime finish turning we've done examples on previous customers where we can get a surface finish of between 0 0.2 0 0.3 CLA and do away with grinding operations. Which is absolutely fantastic I mean what what yeah. that's that's a great story right. but how does the machine achieve that those those large cutting um, forces and how does it manage to resist those well, how rigid is it? Every machine in this range of machines are all box sideways so it's a very strong headstock, strong slides, and it's that combination of factors which allows us to do this 
very successful roughing and finishing turning processes. So if someone's got excited by looking at the size of the parts they can do in this machine and also the size of the tools they can fit in without having to do a big, a really annoying, horrible tool change, how do they get in touch and come and yeah. actually see it cutting? Contact our Sheffield sales office. We've always got uh, around five or six machines ready to do a cutting demonstration at the drop of a hat. So just ring us up, come down, have a look. And for the 450 model, we've got six different machines of different varieties so if this one's too long for you or you don't want y-axis we've got every combination from stock and it's available on a buy now with 10 percent deposit and pay the balance or the finance in summer next year